I'm just back on the collector and fire it up. It does actually give me some really good uh, motor out of it. Let me hook this back up again. A little hard with one hand trying to hold the camera. And this guy here. And set the scope up a little bit better. Uh, I'm now on 20 volts per division. Set my ground down there. Lee tells me that this is DC, so uh, about DC. So it starts off at about four pulses. up you can see um, we start to get a little bit of action on the battery and this meter here as well shows you the voltage over the cap bank you see as that gets up to speed that's going to get up to about 36 37 38 volts sometimes as I said it's dumping at about uh, every 1.2 seconds or though But for for one coil to be able to drive this um, this chunk of wood, the speed it does um, is is pretty good. I'm not real sure of the current draw yet. I think it's about 400 milliamps and it shows that on a digital meter but um, I don't trust the digital meter much to tell me what the current draw is still waiting for another analog meter to turn up so I can measure that properly okay. as you can hear it's uh, it's just about to hit another sweet spot actually hear the, the change in the in the rotor tone those batteries are just providing ballast because the whole thing shakes around on the table a fair bit maybe go to one millisecond so that shows yeah so this this shows that we're just about to go to two Sparks, it'll it takes off pretty quickly. Okay. This is what I wanted that to come up. Some of the, some of the specs I had: uh, 16 pole, 12 inch scalar north rotor, trifolar, 1 by 0.5 millimeter, 2 by 0.75 millimeter, 1 MJL. Cat pulser goes into 7, 6800 microfarad, 50 volt, 36 volt dump, 0.655 hertz frequency with a 1.6% duty cycle at two pulses per magnet pass. Um, I've got the trigger set to that. So those those resistors you see on there are a combination of a 564, 100, 100 and a 10 which gives me 772 which is right on my sweet spot. The cat pulse time and the pulse frequency I've got set to 505k and a pulse duration of just under 5k. That's those uh, those two pots there you can see. Okay. Uh, if we get back to this guy, so we get some stability on there. Okay. So you can see we're at two two pulses again. It does take a while to get there. And you see these pulses jump around a lot and that's because of the poor magnet spacing and the, the magnets aren't really lined up well. So this, this setup I'm restricted to a single coil. Putting another coil on it's really not going to help because of the poor magnet spacing on it. Okay. Let's see we're now dumping at about 37 and a half. And 
see the voltage over the charge bank really dipped, gets up there these, these two batteries I've had swapping around I've just been able to swap these banks over because of the cat pulses circuit but both banks are eventually going down unfortunately I haven't got it tuned to, to a stage yet where both banks will keep charging up okay that's it thanks for watching